Yeah, thanks for the introduction. Uh, it should be presented by the first author, Li Yuan. Unfortunately, she didn't get the visa on time. So uh, yeah, today I present this uh, presentation. I'm Yu Chao currently uh, with Northwestern Polytechnic University in China. And today, uh, I would like to introduce our work uh, published on this CVPR on Wednesday. Uh, the, the target is that uh, how can we bring a blurry frame, a single frame, and we make it alive and achieve a high frame rate reconstruction okay, by using and even a camera. Definitely this is the topic of this uh, workshop. Okay, so what's the problem? Now we have even a camera, especially like uh, the camera like a uh, Davis, so which can simultaneously output a uh, intensity image and also with the events. Uh, these two kinds of data actually complement each other. The, ima the image uh, with uh, relatively uh, high latency, and but, e but for the even data, they will have a very small latency. Then how can we combine these things and achieve our targets? So uh, for the event, definitely we have it's a very high temporal resolution. I think uh, especially after half day's discussion, we know this one. And the other uh, special effect with event camera is that uh, they have this so kind of inherent blurry effect. And that's why, because uh, we would like to use event camera to capture dynamic scene. We are interested in capture dynamic, so uh, the, blur, uh, the blur will generally happen for the grayscale image, uh, because we, we are very interested in this uh, highly dynamic motion area. And, uh, the currently the existing uh, different kind of uh, computer vision algorithm they can't, de uh, can't directly uh, used to this uh, kind of event data. Uh, even though we notice that in this CVPR, uh, there are several papers try to build a uniform framework to uh, introduce all the existing computer vision algorithm to uh, event data. Uh, but anyway, uh, in our paper, we're still trying to de design a special way to uh, build a, it's a high frame rate uh, camera data. So. Make it specific, our goal is that we would like to reconstruct a high frame rate and sharp video from a single blurry frame. For example, uh, this is the this left side is our input. We have a single blurry uh, image and also the associated uh, uh, event data. What we want to achieve is a high frame uh, rate video. Uh, the video is not displayed here, but we will see more video later. Uh, this is our target. And uh, uh, the the very special point I would like to uh, point before uh, the, uh, the detail of our method is that our solution is very simple, uh, which is only a single variable optimization problem. And what is an event? I think I don't need to <laughs> repeat these uh, things uh, again, especially after Professor Ram Mahoney's uh, extensive uh, uh, introduction on this one. Here are just uh, some short introduction. So for the event camera, uh, yeah, we generally record the change in the intensity image, and the once the change uh, uh, exceed or exceed a, a, a scale predefined small number like C, then there will be an uh, event triggered, which would be a positive one or negative one. Uh, if, the, if that does not exceed that uh, uh, the threshold, there will no uh, change. So uh, the event actually is the stream of data. Which, uh, which will uh, record when and uh, at which uh, uh, image location, for example, it's x, y, uh, there's one, this uh, event signal. And if we integrate this uh, event data between two time instances, for example, uh, the reference one, the time f, and uh, uh, the, our current time t, then we will have this, uh, basically have this equation, which means that if we take the log operation and then the, uh, the we put the integration of the event, then we have this equation, which means that we integrated the event can have the current uh, intensity the signal by integrate uh, uh, during this uh, time window. So we define the equation like that. So th this is the event data we integrated the, during the from the time from f to t. Then we get this uh, uh, et, which actually shows the, how the change during this uh, time uh, interval or the sum. And the blurry effects actually happen due to integration of your latent uh, grayscale image. So, for example, like here illustrates the blur happens because due to uh, this uh, the integration of the multiple uh, times. So, if it be because it's the uh, uh, yeah. 
Originally, you have this uh, uh, clean image, but due to this uh, uh, yeah, time interval, you have a blur one. So basically, it's the uh, uh, integration. Uh, your blurry observation is an integration of your uh, latent clean image. And what's more interesting is that uh, here at the top here, that if you integrate all this latent clean image, we have the blurry image and so-called our second integral. But where is the first one? The first one actually uh, is with the event camera model, which is that uh, if we integrate uh, the event in an interval, then uh, we will transform the event data to uh, the latent uh, clean image. So if we put two things together, we will have a uh, double relation. So here is the, shows the relation between uh, the event and the event uh, integration. If we put the things, two things together, we will combine and they have this uh, uh, twice or second uh, uh, integral relation. So the things, we sample and record uh, this event, the first integration will give you the change in that interval and you have the latent image. You further have the second, second integral, you will have the uh, blurry image. Remember our task is that we want to recover a single uh, high frame rate video from a single frame like this one. We only have B. And what do we want to achieve that? We want to estimate uh, all the latent things and we also know these uh, things. The only uh, unknown variable actually is this threshold C. Okay, if we can solve the threshold C, C then we can transform as a blurry image B and get uh, the clean and latent uh, image. Then the question is, uh, how do we get it? And uh, here we define our uh, event-based called uh, double integral model, which means that we integral twice and get this uh, relation between the observed, the let, uh, observed uh, blurry image and the event data. If we can estimate the C properly, we would recover uh, the clean latent image and I can transform this blurry single frame to a high frame rate video. This is the key idea. Then the problem is how to estimate C. Um, we could do it by visually insp inspect. The thing is, because it's only a single number, okay? So give a single number of C, then we can get a, a different C will give a different result. So we can visually inspect this one and check, okay, which one is more clean, more better, then we can do it manually, okay? We do it manually. But to manually do it is not always the optimal solution. Then we think, okay, can we do it mathematically? Then we, our idea that uh, with different C, with different threshold, you could have different uh, restruct image. And some could be slightly blur and some could be over sharp. And we show you some principle, a principle way to get the best optimization. How do we it? Actually, the idea is that we compare the edge integrated from the, uh, the the event data and the edge of the reconstructed image. The thing is, uh, you recover, you reconstruct your image, you can do a gradient or to compute the edge, and this edge can also be output from the, the event things. So basically, these things should be highly correlated. So with this one, we can estimate our C. Okay, once we get this one, we have our solution. And here we show uh, the cost curve, so that how can we find the, uh, the C. Generally, the, the function is nonlinear function, but uh, uh, in some, uh, some small interval, we can find the, uh, the, the optimal solution. We use a Fibonacci search in our paper, but you can use uh, any kind of uh, first uh, things to find it. Okay, for the results, so uh, we compare, because our solution is that we use the event data and also the image simultaneously, so we compare the solution with only with event, or only with image, and also one uh, existing work uses uh, both event and image, our results shows improved uh, uh, performance. Uh, here are some video, uh, the left one is the original the blurry, uh, blurry frame, and the, the right one is the recovered high frame rate uh, uh, video, which shows that we really have this uh, relatively sharp reconstruction. Here's another group. So I think the benefit is that we really have the high frame rate recollection and the solution is very cheap. Okay, different evaluation uh, with indoor, outdoor. Show the clear uh, boundary there. Yeah, from 
And also we do some kind of uh, quantitative uh, evaluation, so our benefit in recover uh, better PSNR, SSM, or the benefits. Uh, this, this is the link for the code data and the demo. We are currently working on extending this one from a single frame to multi frame because when you have more data, you could do it everything better. So that's basically it. Our, uh, our presentation and the poster session is on Wednesday. Uh, so everyone, uh, welcome to our poster. Thank you.